Habakkuk. Thanks for joining me. We're in the prophet Habakkuk. Chapter 1, verse 1. This is the message that the prophet Habakkuk received from the Lord in a vision. Chapter 1 and 2 are two murmurings or heavy burdens on the heart of the prophet. He is crying out to the Lord. Some translations actually use the word complaint. In his prayer to the Lord, he says, this is my complaint. Assyria wiped out Israel. Babylon is getting ready to take on Judah. And there's more wickedness, injustice, and violence in the world than there's ever been before. Habakkuk has a heavy heart. On the other hand, you and I might share the same complaint. It looks so wicked in our world. That's what he says. It's so violent. The court processes, it's, it's, there's unjust things happening. And he's crying out before the Lord. It just seems so hopeless. In chapter one, God replies to his complaint and explains to him what he is doing, what the Lord is doing. And he receives this all in a vision. And then in chapter two, he responds a second time. It's a biblical, biblical truth that when we cry out to the Lord, the Lord answers our hearts. We may not get what we want, but God gives us strength. And that's the lesson that I bring in my morning prayer walk today as I've been praying and meditating on this very overlooked and difficult book to understand. God, where are you? The world is so wicked. And I love the hope and the faith that Habakkuk has. Sometimes people say, seeing is believing. That's kind of what Doubting Thomas said to Christ. Seeing is believing. Faith is believing when you cannot see. I walk by faith and not by sight. And look at this last portion of verse in chapter 3 of Habakkuk. If you meditate on just one passage of scripture this morning, let it be Habakkuk chapter 3 and the last two or three verses. Chapter 3 verse 16. Habakkuk says, I trembled inside when I heard your reply. My lips quivered with fear. My legs gave way beneath me. I shook, I shook a terror. I will wait quietly for the coming day when disaster strikes my enemy who invades us. Even though the fig tree has no blossom, even though there's no grapes on the vine, even though the olive crop failed, even though the fields are empty and barren, even though the flocks die in the field, even though the cattle barns are empty. I almost feel like I'm reading the book of Job, even though all of these bad things are happening and I don't understand them. Look at verse 18, what Habakkuk says after the Lord speaks to his heart. Yet, in spite of all of this circumstances, I will rejoice in the Lord. I will be joyful in the God of my salvation. I'm not going to focus on the circumstances, Habakkuk says. I'm not going to look at my empty barns or the fields that are barren. My focus is upon rejoicing and giving praise to the Lord. I will rejoice. I will praise. I will be joyful. Why? Because God the sovereign Lord is my strength. He will make me sure-footed as a deer and bring me safely over and through the mountains. Whenever I begin in my morning prayer walk daily, it's always in the dark. That's where Habakkuk is. He's in the dark. He's in a place of great discouragement and hopelessness. And then God speaks to his heart and says, Hey, I've got this covered. There is coming a day that you will not believe. 
The Shekinah glory is going to fill the temple again. I'm going to move in a mighty way and all that unrighteousness, there's going to be a day of reckoning. Every person, every man, woman of every generation filled with wickedness and would not surrender and be rebellious to God, they will stand before the great white throne judgment. But that is not your concern, God says to Habakkuk. Your concern is to trust in me, for I will give you strength. I will get you through the valley. I'll get you across the river. I'll get you over the mountain peak. I'll get you through the fire and the flood and across the river. I am the Lord your God. And when Habakkuk begins to realize that, he begins to worship and he begins to praise and he just cries out to God and he says, even though it's dark right now, I know, I know one moment that sun is going to come. I know, almighty God, that you are going to do a mighty, mighty thing. Seeing is believing, but faith, faith is believing even when you can't see and you're in the dark. Father, my trust and my hope is in you. I don't understand why our world is the way it is. I don't understand why there's so much wickedness and violence, but I know God, the answer is putting my trust in you. And like Habakkuk this morning, I'm going to rise up early and I'm going to rejoice and I'm going to praise you and I am going to give you glory in Jesus' name. Now, Lord, I pray that you bless each heart. Fill them with your peace, your grace, and let strength be the foundation of our walk today. Bless, Father. In Jesus' name, amen and amen. Well, I'm going to pray some more. I'll be praying for you and your family. Remember Jenny in your prayer. She was tested positive for COVID. And oh, what a struggle. What a struggle she's had. So many of our friends, Calvin. Remember Calvin in your prayers. Remember Chuck, Chuck King. Remember him in your prayers. And I, I will be praying for you today that God will bless you in Jesus' name. God loves you, and so do I.